Hello, and thank you for joining us to learn more about the benefits of the QuoteWorks Configurator and QuoteWorks Web. The Configurator is a powerful tool that simplifies the quoting process by eliminating the need to memorize or look up product options and relationships. It allows the salesperson to construct a simple or group bundle on the fly by following a series of pre-configured prompts that guide them through the necessary decisions. We encourage you to review the basic Configurator video first if you have not already done so. Today we'll be taking a look at some of the intermediate features of the QuoteWorks Configurator, including the item sort order, line items, and line attributes. We'll start by building on the simple configuration that we created in the basic Configurator video. We can access the Configurator from the icon on the toolbar or by navigating to the Products drop-down menu and selecting Configurator. Once in the Configurations window, we can choose our demo configuration and clone it by selecting the Clone button in the top left. You can now see that our intermediate demo configuration has opened in a new window. Today we'll be working with items in the configuration, so we'll flip over to the Flowchart tab and let's take a look at our TV items by double clicking on the TV container and selecting the Items tab. Let's take a look at how sorting works with the items in this list. Refer to the Sort Order column towards the right of the grid and the list of numbers that we see there. The items on this list sort numerically based on these values, and the default values automatically increment by 10 as the items are first added to the list. Let's say we wanted to reverse this order so that our largest TV show first and our smallest TV show at the bottom. We can easily do that by editing our 61-inch TV and changing the sort order to anything smaller than the first item on the list. The first item on the list currently has a sort order of 10, so if you put a sort order of 1, we'll be confident that this will show up prior to the first item on the list. And you can see that it is updated to reflect that. Next we can take our 36 inch TV and let's say we wanted that to be the second in the list. We could choose any number greater than 1 but less than 10 in order for it to show a second on our list based on the current sort order numbers. And then finally if we wanted to change that 27 inch TV we would just have to choose something between 3 and 10 in order to make it be on the list as the third position. Here we've reversed the order and the 61 inch option is at the top and the 14 inch option is at the bottom. Next we're going to take a look at some of the additional line types that are supported in the configurator. Notice the list of line items available on this item. A configure item can be a standard product or service, a comment, a subtotal, a running subtotal, a heading, or a section header. These options are useful for letting the sales reps include standard comments or heading lines while building a bundle in the configurator or for including subtotals in a configuration. Let's go ahead and add some of these items to our selection containers. Let's give the sales rep the ability to add a heading and a subtotal for their television selections. We'll start by clicking Add Item. We recommend creating items in a product database for use as comments, headings, and subtotals, and we've created a comments folder that contains several for us to choose from. We're going to choose the Televisions header, and choose Heading, and we're also going to choose the Subtotal option, and choose Subtotal as our line item type. You now see that they're on the list, but we want televisions to show up as our first option. Again, as this is a header, and we want our users to include it by default. We'll go ahead and click on there and change the sort order so it shows as the first item on the list. In this case, zero, because we already have an item with the value of one. Now let's make the same changes to receivers. We're going to add our header for receivers as a heading line item type. And we're going to add our subtotal. Subtotal will be added as a subtotal line item type. And we can do the same thing for our speakers.
and we're going to change the sort order of our header so it's at the top as well. I'm going to go back and do that same thing for our receivers. Again, so that our header is at the top. Before we test our enhanced configuration, let's look over another set of options called line attributes. We can access line attributes by clicking into a container and then going to the items tab and double clicking on any of the items. These are the exact same line attributes that are available to any line item in the standard QuoteWorks document items tab. The exclude option will ensure that the line item is not printed and this price is not included in any calculations. It is useful in case you generally want to exclude an item but keep it in the group for special circumstances. Hide price will print the line item on the documents and include its price and in calculations but not print the price on the document. Print line will ensure that the line is included on the document and the option is checked by default. When unchecked, the item's price will still be included in the calculations but the item will not be printed on the document at all. Setting the option attribute includes the line on the document and allows the price to be printed but the price is not included in calculations. Option selected attribute is just like the option attribute but includes the price and calculations. These two attributes are useful for allowing customers to choose between various options without all the back and forth of revising the quote. Print picture will allow a picture that is associated with the item to be printed on the final document. Hide quantity will print the line item and its price but not print the quantity. This is useful for showing that a set of items are included without getting into the specifics of exactly how many. And finally, allow QV quantity change allows your customers to adjust the quantities on their quote valet quotes. Let's go ahead and test our enhanced configuration and see what kind of difference our new line types can make. On step one, notice the new heading line at the top of the list and the subtotal at the bottom. Let's add a few line items for each of our steps here, including our header and our subtotal. And we'll hit finish to add it to the document. Notice that each of our header lines have been added and there's a subtotal line for each of those heading lines as well. Let's take a look at what this looks like in a printed document. We now have a nice, comprehensive, customized quote that's assembled in seconds just by running through the QuoteWorks configurator. Notice that each step from the configurator is now neatly arranged into its own section with a heading and subtotal line. Thank you for taking the time to learn more about the QuoteWorks configurator and its powerful features, and make sure to check out the Advanced Configurator video for even more great tips and tricks.